Hello everyone, this is Gwydion, and um, today I'm going to show you the adventure that I've converted for Shadow Dark that is in the Quick Start um, rule guide, and it's called Lost Citadel of the Scarlet Minotaur. Um, I'm going to try not to go through the whole thing because this could take a very long time, so there are spoilers, so as you can probably already see, so please do not look at this further, this video, if, um, if you're going to be a player in one of these games. So... With that, I wanted to show you what I've done. So when you, when I release this, you'll have the entire quick start guide. I need to populate some of the other information, but I started with the, um, uh, with the adventure. So let's jump in. I'm going to show you the image of the adventure. So this is the map. Um, you can see I've pinned all the locations on the map. So uh, this is a, a trick that I learned. Um, I guess it's not a trick, but... If you want the locations to show up kind of in a, in a nice format so you can kind of run the adventure with the map and then the uh, locations next to it. If you open one of the, let's just open one of these here, uh, these links. And if you click on this little head icon here, it'll pop out. And then if you drag and drop it, and I've already done that, but drag it and resize it where you want and then just hit these arrows then all of the links will show up exactly as you want them here in this little section over here. So anyway, I hope that's helpful, but I'm going to start down here with the overview and the um, area tab. So you can see here that I have the description of the, uh, the overview of the uh, dungeon. So room key, background, factions. I've got rumors. I didn't need to put a table in here because I actually created the table. You see it populate up here. I toggle this so it's not visible, so it's going to hide from players. But if you wanted them to potentially get some rumors, just hit click on the roll, and they don't see it. You can see this little um, uh, eye symbol with a slash through it, but you can see it. Piles of gems and gold lie about as if totally forgotten. So you've got that table, and then if you keep scrolling down, the environment and entrances, so it tells you a little bit about that, the order of the battle and Beastmen, Edder Caps, and the Minotaur itself. And let's see, areas 1 through 27, so you could either page 4 or you could click on this link here. You can see the danger level, a little bit about lighting, etc. And then you have random encounters. So again, I put it down here, but if you click on the table, and if you roll, so 2d4 Beastmen, so nobody else will see this but you. If you click on this link, you can see up here, there's a generate encounter. So it's going to generate two D4 beastmen. So if I hit generate, in this case, it did seven. So now you can drag and drop these onto the map. You have your encounter. So that's pretty cool. All right. So let's kind of get in. I'm going to, I've already got Gwydion, Um, So I'm going to scroll in. I've got Gwydion on the map. If I unlock the map for a second and I toggle enable player vision, and um, enable line of sight, and then I'll lock it again. So you can see, you, you see this now as if you're the player. So as I, as I move up in here, you can see that now they have a closed door, so they can't see past it. So I click on it, and it opens the doors. You can see I've got a little bit of lighting for the pillars and a little bit of uh, shadows. And as a GM, you'll be able to click on the link here, and it tells you floor to seal chamber, Tried to keep this as close as I could to how Kelsey had the rule guide. And then for encounters, I wanted to call these out separately. So they're in this little gold background. So what you can do in here is click on this image, or sorry, this uh, link. And then if I hit the down arrow, it'll populate, in this case, Ezka, which is the editor cap that's in here. Then he's in the, he or she is in the combat tracker. They're not visible, but if you want to make them visible, you can click on the uh, eye symbol here or here. And now that'll be visible to the player. So now the cool thing is you can just run combat straight from here. I think I'll do a separate video again to show the combat in action. Um, but that's that. Let me delete Ezra from here and goes away. So then let's kind of move off over here. And then you get to another door. Open the door. And you can go down the stairs. And in this case, again, it's just a wide open chamber. And you move your player around, you can see the line of sight. Uh, and again, 
blinding cave. I have the description. I've got the ambush. So you do, uh, if you do run into these header caps, you can click the down arrow and I place them, or you can move them if you want. And then I also tried to create the parcels. So in this case, there is um, the five beastmen I didn't put in here. They're just bodies. And then you've got a pearl worth 40 gold piece gold pieces. So you can drag and drop that and give it to your players. Um, and if you move up here into this chamber, you have the web choke cave. I did, let's see, I did have the parcel in here. In this case, if you've seen the actual map, there's actually a secret door down here. So if you get move over here, they won't see it unless they look for it. But as the GM, if I hover over this and open it, then that opens the uh, secret door for them. So they won't see it, but you can see it. So that's kind of cool. Go up here, um, robe chamber. Uh, there's a room key in here. So I have that parcel there. So again, you can see the bronze key. I probably don't need to unidentify or have it not identified keep moving through i didn't i didn't actually because this was handwritten you'll notice i did not put the grid on it i tried to create a grid it's not perfect so it doesn't align perfectly but i think it's good enough so i just left it off um so you don't see it and just leave the grid that's written in here open the door again move up through here there might be yeah and you can move through the hallway through the hallway down here, it looks like a little bit of legacy line of sight that I need to move Move into here. I tried to when I could. Um, so yeah, this is a good one. This is the bathhouse. So you can, um, what, I, what I tried to do for the encounters here, so in this case, if I drag this over there, there are, the statue turns and spews water, or sorry, scalding water, and um, it causes 1d4 damage. So, and there's also, if you remove the plugs, you can unleash a scarab swarm. So if you go into this room and then if you click the down arrow, I have the scarab swarm in here. I'm not sure exactly where it should be, but I envision the basins here. I don't know. And then if you walk up to the statue trap and if I make this visible, so you can run the statue trap by move up to the combat tracker and click this down arrow. You can see I've got the actual trap here. So what you can do is obviously you can do the deck save from the uh, player, but if the player fails, you can target the player and then roll damage. And then you can see it did one damage, one D4, and applied the damage directly to Gwydion. So I tried to do that for all of the uh, traps. So that's... I mean, look, I could go through this entire thing, but I don't think that would be super useful. Um, let me get out of the line of sight for a second. So yeah, so if you look back again, I tried to toggle all of the, um, have all the doors in here. You can see if I open this again, toggle line of sight. I think I have all the doors and I had to do, I tried to do terrain in here. You can see the secret doors where they're listed. So I think I did a, you know, okay job um, getting this all set up. And then again, if you toggle all of the different, um, all the different links, you can click on any of these links and it'll show up over here. So it's pretty easy to run and just go directly to the, um, you know, the, the notes here. So that's it. Uh, I might release this soon. I'm, it's going to take me a little bit longer to do the um, actual, the rest of the uh, ref manual here. So I've got all of the uh, links here ready to go, but I need to spend the time to copy and paste all this in. But the entire adventure is here. So shoot me, if you're watching this video, shoot me a comment and tell me if you think I should go ahead and release at least the entire um, adventure here, um, even though I'm still working on, again, the treasure, the monsters. I've got all the monsters built out. If you click on NPC, you can see I've got them all set up by level. So every monster, and then I also created all of the um, traps. But the monsters themselves are all built into here and I organize them by level. So let me know what you think. Um, I hope this is helpful. I'm super excited to get this launched. And yeah, I hope this is useful to all of you who want to play Shadow Dark. Um, Till next time, I hope to see many of you on the Fantasy Grounds forums. Thanks.